What's going on, miners? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. I know today's a little different video, but we're outside next to my house. This is the right side of my house, and I cleared a spot for the crypto mining trailer. So I did this yesterday with my VIP guys over in Discord. So we just more or less raked this out together. I chopped a bunch of tree limbs over here just so I could get my trailer like down here and not you know run into anything specific so that's the whole plan i'm going to get this here i'm going to get some electrical ran for my house at some point but this is going to be obviously more than just a one stage process so right now we're going to focus on getting the trailer in the location i'm going to go over my, all my plans and then we're going to go from there so if you guys are into that let's do it All right, so this is the crypto mining trailer we get to work with and i have plans for this but i'll go over those in just a second we got some metal roofing here or siding rather it doesn't really matter you could use it for either or but first things first i need to drive this trailer over my lawn and if you guys have a sprinkler system or irrigation system you need to make sure that these pipes are full of water so you don't collapse anything under the weight of your vehicle or the trailer in my case so i need to go turn these zones on and pretty much stake out where my actual heads are so I don't run those over specifically all right so obviously I'm not gonna be driving over my walkway but the walkway that's not done yet but I have to avoid all four of these so I have one there obviously I'm not gonna hit that I need to avoid these ones right here so got a couple along the driveway I'm just gonna stake them real quick with some orange stakes I'm gonna go around and do the rest inside here as well so as you can see these guys right here those are the ones I was worried about because obviously these are dead center. So I got one other section that I need to turn on. I think it's back there, but I don't know if you guys kind of see these orange stakes. I'm trying not to get soaked. But yeah, so I just kind of stuck all these orange markers in where they all are. And uh, yeah, let's see if there's any more over there and then we're good to go. All right, so we found the main one that I was wondering where it was. I just put like three stakes all around it. So this is the one that I'm gonna have to try my hardest not to hit because I'm gonna have to swing wide between this one and that one and more or less just keep it in a line and try to swing it in between and get down there so that's gonna be a challenge but let's do it how's that actually came out way better than I thought super straight along with the fence I'm pumped that's really all I cared about and then also I set it back a little bit so it's kind of hidden by the fence you can't really see it unless you actually come into my yard my cameras will catch you before that so not too worried about it all right cool let's get this thing open let's see what we got to do here the gate is plenty of room hell yeah you know, I probably should have put a bunch of crushed stone down underneath the trailer, but to be honest, I don't really care. This thing sat on dirt for so many years at this point and it's not uh, completely rusted away, so I'm not too concerned about it. All right, so let's go over the overall game plan and what I plan to do here. I'm not gonna start doing this today, but I can at least tell you guys what's going on. So, see this? This is a 1000 CFM attic fan that I'm gonna install on top of this trailer. I can actually fit three of them side by side perfectly and I have three of them I have one here I have one in the box still actually over there and then I threw one up on the roof so we're gonna have three of those and I'm gonna put them in line right here so we're gonna have one replacing this little uh, you know bathroom vent style thing for a camper I'm gonna rip that out we're gonna put one here we're gonna put one here and put one here in this row then what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a wall right on this side of the door. All right, because that's a door to come in and out. So literally just going to isolate it. So that wall is going to be completely solid with like an access hatch of some sort, maybe a couple screws on plywood that I can take down so I can actually access the power supplies and the internet, plugging all that in. But more or less, I'll be able to come in here and it'll be virtually, I wouldn't say silent, but it'll be much quieter than it normally is because I would like to mount my grow watt inverter here for the solar panels and have like the battery bank and all that stuff right here. 
and then it gives me a little bit of room to just kind of walk in here and do whatever I have to do. So that works out perfectly. And then this front side, I was thinking about leaving this open, but if I leave this open and I put that metal uh, like siding or roofing, whatever it is right there, it just leaves it so vulnerable to people coming in and messing with it. If anybody was to, you know what I mean? It just makes no sense. I'd rather have that closed. So my plan is to cut gable vents into the sides here. So I'll probably put like two here and maybe two over here, or I might do four and four. We'll see, but it'll be cut into the side because it's literally just sheet metal. I took off this Luan and you can get right through to the sheet metal. Obviously you guys saw the Octo Miner sitting here. So this is the last thing I kind of want to go over. This is perfect size to be able to be stacked. Like literally it gets right to the top here. So if I can stack those, you know, up and down, I'm going to have 12 of them in total. So I can fit like eight or so across and then, you know, four on top. I can either lay them down or stand them up. But plan is to have them in between this section right here, between there and there. So again, wall here, this is going to be the exhaust aisle where all the fans are. And this is going to be technically the hot aisle where all the cables and everything plug in. And these are exhausting straight out the back. Then we're going to have the gable vents, like I just said, cut into the sides feeding all the cold air through the Octominers up and out through the roof. That is my game plan and I think it's gonna work fantastic. Biggest thing is the solar, I need to figure that out. So I'm gonna get that set up and I might end up hanging some CPU mining rigs on the wall here and run those off the solar by themselves. So that'll be super interesting. I'm wondering if that's going to work out the way I want it to. I mean, obviously I hope so, but I guess we'll have to see. So lastly, we gotta dig from the corner over here a little trench with some uh, conduit like PVC pipe over to where my electrical comes into my house and I'm gonna bring it inside right through the wall here just like these guys and do another network one same thing trench all the way over to where the trailer is and that's it super excited about it so like I said if we look over here it's virtually hidden you can only see the very top of it I mean as long as my uh, neighbors don't think I'm cooking meth I think we're all right so what you guys think hopefully you enjoyed this video i'm super pumped about it so i just want to explain the electrical real quick to you guys i'm going to be running three lines of 10-2 out to the trailer in some uh you know pvc pipe for electrical the conduit and what we're going to do is put it in the electrical panel and just swap the breakers from the grow tent to the trailer so i can easily switch them back when the winter comes and when the summer comes to be able to obtain the free heat from the mining rigs in the winter and obviously in the summer when it's too hot i just throw them back in the trailer that's my plan there and then stay tuned for the solar stuff now that i have a proper place to mount everything i'm super pumped about it because it's going to be a lot easier for me to kind of work on it slowly unless i can get it all done at once i don't know again i'm totally new to it so we're gonna have to see what happens but if you guys appreciated this video go down here hit this like button don't forget to subscribe and if you haven't seen this video or this video Please go check them out. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.